Hello everyone, my name is Sejal Tapuwala and I am the Marketing Manager at Active Concepts. Thank you for tuning in to our Masterclass series where we discuss scientific topics as they relate to the personal care industry. In today's Masterclass, we'll review the fundamentals of skin biology. To understand how cosmetics and skin biology go hand in hand, it's important to know the layers of the skin and the function of each layer. The skin is the largest organ on the body. Although you may not typically think of the skin as an organ, it is in fact made up of tissues that work together as a single structure to perform many critical functions. The skin structure is made up of an intricate network which serves as the body's initial barrier against pathogens, UV light, mechanical injury, and environmental stressors. It also regulates temperature and the amount of water released into the environment. Temperature regulation is aided by the skin through the sweat glands and the blood vessels in the dermis. Another important function of the skin is to detect the different sensations of heat, cold, pressure, contact, and pain. This sensation is detected through the nerve endings in the dermis. Lastly, our skin is one of our main sources of vitamin D through the production of D3 in the two lowermost layers of the epidermis. Now let's talk a little bit about the skin structure. The skin is made up of three layers, the epidermis, dermis, and the hypodermis, all of which vary significantly in their anatomy and their function. The epidermis, from its outermost layer to its innermost layer, consists of the stratum corneum, the stratum lucidum, the stratum granulosum, the stratum spinosum, and the stratum basal. Skin cells, called keratinocytes, are synthesized at the bottom or the innermost layer of the epidermis, the stratum basal. Through a process called keratinization, these skin cells will rise from the bottom layer to the top, the stratum cornea. Although we shed a layer of skin every 24 hours, this process of keratinization takes 28 days for the cells to reach the outermost layer of the skin. As we age, this process of cell regeneration slows down, so the body takes longer to slough off old cells. In the deepest layer of the epidermis, the stratum basal, are cells called melanocytes. These cells synthesize melanin, the pigment that gives skin its color. UV radiation can stimulate melanocytes to produce more melanin. Typically, all humans have the same number of melanocytes. However, the amount of melanin produced by these melanocytes varies. People with more melanin generally have darker skin, eyes, and hair compared to those with less melanin. As we age and experience sun damage, these cells, the melanocytes, can start to malfunction, producing too much melanin, which results in hyperpigmentation or eight spots. That is why one of the most critical things you can do to ensure even skin tone is to apply sunscreen daily. The dermis is the middle layer of the skin. It contains connective tissue, capillaries, nerve endings, and hair follicles. It also contains different glands, including sebaceous glands that produce sebum and apricant glands that produce sweat. The dermis is split into two layers. The papillary dermis is the thin upper layer that contains capillaries that help regulate skin temperature and provide nutrients to the epidermis. The reticular dermis is the thick lower layer that contains connective tissues and dense collagen bundles. Collagen is the main protein that provides structure to skin and connective tissues. It gives skin its elasticity and its strength. Elastin, also a protein, is the substance that allows the skin to spring back into place when stretched and keeps the skin flexible. As we age, our collagen and elastin fibers get damaged by the environment and other intrinsic factors. Because of this, skin loses its structural integrity and we start to see the formation of wrinkles. Below the dermis is the hypodermis, or the subcutaneous layer, 
composed mostly of adipose or fatty tissue. This layer functions both as an insulator, conserving the body's heat, and as a shock absorber, protecting the inner organs. It also stores fat as an energy reserve for the body. The blood vessels, nerves, lymph vessels, and hair follicles all cross through this layer. Now, as we have seen, the skin is made up of several different components that all have critical functions. Understanding the basics of how your skin functions and self-regulates is integral to establishing an effective skincare routine. I'm Sajal Tapawala, and thanks for watching this masterclass with Active Concepts. Tune in to our next masterclass as we deep dive into skin penetration.